it's just absolutely crazy how I got lost in Spain and and it was a very very weird experience or just a wild experience because usually you know like you know like when you're just in a country right you just sometimes you just forget you don't really know what you're doing in a certain country if you're not in the country you know of it's like oh you don't really know where a certain place is Hello everyone and welcome back to the James Rambling Show coming at you live on Friday night. Tonight's your host, James Bay. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Show. Yet another week, yet another Saturday release. I'm not going to try and weird you out this time because the last time, last week, I realised that there was some people that were just, they didn't like that episode or they just thought there was a part of it that was kind of eh. Well, I was just trying something different with that. So, I I have to say, I have to say, to segue into this episode, I've talked a little bit too much about Scotland. I know that it was only two episodes, but if I just rattle on about Scotland so much... It's gonna get boring, and the context behind that is um this time I'm I'm actually this week I'm actually gonna dive into countries I've actually visited. It's not like I'm gonna do a world map thing where I talk about like countries what what countries are in what places. I'm not gonna do a geography test or a, like geography sort of uh, geo guesser thing. So with that said, um, I've been I've been to Spain. Germany, France, and and I have fl- I have been on a few airplanes, and there's that time when I was in the Dubai airport, and that time when I was in the Sydney airport. But those don't count because those are just airports. Like when you're in an airport, you're not really doing much. You're just sitting there waiting for the next flight, so you're not really going anywhere in that stage. So Spain, 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 Spain. I think I went I went to Spain in about uh, in twenty thirteen. 2013, uh, 2012, as I think I went to Spain and France, like, 2011, 2012, so, as for, as for Spain, you know, Espanol, I don't know what I'm doing there, but, just Espanol, that country with, like, known for those, like, football teams, like, Real Madrid and Ronaldo and, uh, uh, Ronaldo's Portuguese, I know that, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, Spain is, like, one of those countries where it kind of has, like, it kind of just has a very big thing about its sports and stuff, but, like, aside from sports, sorry there, actually, my experience in Spain, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I can't help myself, so the, the experiences I had in Spain, right, Oh my lord, like, Spain is probably one of the hottest countries I've been to in a while. This country, 80 degrees, like, was that one time when it was so hot in Spain, it was 80 degrees, and it was just intense weather, you're talking just absolute, just absolutely hot weather, could not stand it. And I just, I have to say this, right, there was actually, I actually... Now this sounds, this is about to sound a bit crazy, a bit wild, this is a bit of a wild story I'm about to tell, I've, I'm already jumping into it, so in Spain I actually got lost, so that sounds a bit crazy, like I got lost in Spain and I already touched on the toilet before, but ladies and gentlemen, I actually got lost in the toilet in Spain. So that I was, that I was near the pool, right? And my dad said, "Oh, you can go in the toilet. You can go in the toilet. Let's see how far you'll go. Let's see how far you'll go." And and I tried my best. I tried my, I didn't you know. Actually, I didn't try my best. I just, tr- I didn't know what I was doing. So I just randomly, I thought, "Oh, maybe this will actually be the male toilet." I, I just completely forgot what my dad said. And so I just went straight into the women's toilet. And so when I went to the women's toilet, I tried to do the toilet, and and, and I locked myself in there. And I was just, I don't know, I was doing like the lock, I don't know what I was doing with the lock, and I proceeded, and it proceeded, and it proceeded, and it proceeded, and it just kept coming along, and I didn't know what I was doing, and so I was just uh, 
sitting. I was just there. I was like, oh, somebody let me out, somebody let me out. And then I just all of a sudden see Hames and then somebody, yeah, J- James, they say James in Spanish, whatever. And then this dude just comes in and Hames and says, Hames, 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 I'm looking for you, my sister. My jo- so Jodie, and I heard my sister Jodie um, the second time. So I managed to get out of there. But it was wild because my parents and everyone was go- well, they were going crazy because they didn't. They didn't find me for a little while, and, and they they thought they lost me, and I, 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 and that was that time, that time I got lost in Spain, and that was just absolutely crazy how I got lost in Spain, and and it was a very, very weird experience, or just a wild experience, because usually, you know, like, you know, like, when you're just in a country, right, you just, sometimes you just forget, you don't really know what you're doing in a certain country, if you're not in the country you know of, it's like, oh, you don't really know where a certain place is, but the thing is, I probably just didn't have enough listening skills to know that, yeah, maybe the male toilet was over there, maybe the male toilet was over there, and I just went straight for the female toilet, that could have went from my head, I probably would have remembered, but maybe, I just, I just had a lot of, like, really bad memory skills, and I just didn't, do that and, and that sort of thing could have tied into that last episode but because it's because it's like actually related to the Spain and where I went to Spain and Spain's had in a country that's why I left it in here because it's ju- it's not really yeah, it is a toilet experience sure but it's not as like, it is we- it is it's more wild and odd and random than than absolutely strange like the things we do in the toilet so yeah that sort of, that's the experience I had in Spain, like, that was just crazy, I thought that was a crazy experience I had in Spain, so I talked about, I mentioned France, so, like, France, the baguette nation, the, the nation with all that bread, croissant, croissant, I, I love croissants, amazing, so, Disneyland Paris is probably, like, the nearest experience I've had in, in France, like, I went to Disneyland Paris, I actually went there 2012 or something like that, and I just had a lot of fun in there, and I I think just like Disney, I just think go like if I like the rides, I wasn't I wasn't too iffy about the rides, or just wasn't into the rides at all. I mentioned that in the big fears episode, like I don't want to keep referring to things, but because because I was afraid of rides, and that was actually one of my biggest fears, and I mentioned that in the episode that I was afraid of heights and rides and stuff, and I think. I uh, may I think it might have been in Disneyland Paris, but there was this one ride where it went dark at certain points, and then I was just like, oh, oh man, what, what is going on? And in Disneyland Paris, I'm pretty sure my sister like dressed up as a Disney princess, and my sister, I, I've already dived into Disney already on a, in the movies. E- oh my god, another reference, but I'd already dived into Disney in the movies episode, but but yeah. Disneyland Paris was an experience that I had, and I think that's the like that I've. It's not like I've been to every th- every place in Paris, or I've sort of travelled all around Paris. It's, uh, I've travelled all around Spain, uh, France. Sorry, I, I, I don't think I've been to the Eiffel Tower either. I've not really experienced the entire thing of Paris. I've just went of of France. I should say I've I just went to Disneyland Paris and and I've never really went to Italy before like that. If we're talking about Spain, Italy, because you because you know of Spain and Italy, right? So you know of Spain and Italy, and then there's and uh, if you know of Spain and France, sorry, Spain and France, and then you've got Italy. So and then you th- and then you've just I, I never went to Italy, and and yeah. So enough for that. Right? France and France and Spain's done. Um. Germany, Upalikelaiken, I don't know what I'm saying there, but Upalikelaiken, French, Deutschland, 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 yes, I went to Deutschland, I went to Deutschland back in like 2016, I want to say, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, those sausages in Spain, in, in Germany, we're absolutely amazing. I just had a, a whale of a time with those sausages. Uh, I really enjoyed the sausages in, in Germany, like the taste, the texture, the everything. And I went to a football game in Germany and I actually learnt, like, I learnt some German in Germany, like with the train or whatever. I, I, I learnt a bit of German in that country. I never, I don't think I learnt any, so I don't think I learnt Spanish or French when I was in France and Spain for those um, brief moments of my life. But I certainly, I certainly did love Germany. I know, I, I, I think I, I'm trying to remember what part of Germany I actually went to. Like, 
because obviously there's Berlin, there's that's one um, location in Germany like Berlin, but I've never, I don't, uh, Frankfurt, Frankfurt. That's what the that was one place I went to in Germany. It's like Frankfurt. And actually, the reason why I went there was because my sister, one of my sisters, was actually like, like they, she was allowed to study in Germany, so we're visiting her, and we, I managed to just test out this culture. I didn't really dive that much into it, but I managed to test out a different country and see what it's like, and I actually like Germany, and I've not been to Germany in a long time, as I said, I went there in like 2016, so that's probably like six years ago now, so it has been a while since I actually went to Germany, it's why, Germany is one of those countries that, uh, yeah, I've just been, I've never been to Germany in that, like, long, like, I just, oh man, I don't know. I don't know, man, just, uh, the majority of play, uh, you can just tell that the majority of places I've actually been to have resided in Europe, and like, Europe only, there are actually, there are actually, like, a couple countries I still want to visit, I mean, going, just completely going off the topic of, like, the countries I've been to, I just want to get through this, just so it sort of relates to the, to the episode, does that actually, I've actually, I actually thought I've had this sort of thing where I want to do, I want to actually try out America and there was a period in my life where I never wanted to go to America, I never wanted to go there, I was like hearing all these things about, oh, so many shootings and stuff like that and, 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 and like crazy politicians and whatnot and, and stuff like that, but, but America it seems like an interesting place to visit, I mean, you know, I've heard all these weird, crazy, wild stories about America, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see what it's actually like because, you, yeah, you just... I just, America just, like, I just, America, like, you got all the fat people and all those stereotypes and stuff, but, uh, I just getting away from that, it's probably just like any other old country that you're going to be visiting, and so I just think going to America and trying out a new country would probably be something interesting to try out, because then you're not just being in the same location all the time, you're not just going to the same places all the time, and so that's sort of why I kind of want to go to America, that type of at that um sort of thing because America, you know, just hearing all those stories about America. Actually actually, would I revisit the any of the countries that I've at, that I actually went to? Probably, probably like actually to get and actually have a bit like more than just a football game in Germany and eating food, yeah, I'd ra- probably go to Berlin or something. Um as for probably like as for probably Spain, probably go there again, see what it's like. It's been like eight, ten years, or I'd say almost ten years since I've been to Spain. So I want to see what it's like again. I want to see if I still stand, well, see if I still think Spain was a good time, apart from being hot and stuff like that. France, yeah, I, I think I want to go there beyond just Disneyland Paris. There's probably more things I could probably even just try out, just instead of just only just Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris. Disneyland. Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris, because that's just going to get boring, if I'm only in Disneyland Paris, and I'm not experiencing any other part of France, because there is probably so much, like, so much interesting things about France, and I've heard all these things about France, the baguettes, and stuff like that, you know, just like, France just being like, this whole thing about baguettes, and, and that sort of thing, and I th- yeah, I just think, I'm just, I'm, I definitely would visit all of these countries again, just to see what it's like, so yeah, um, I uh, hope you en- hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I I do hope to do. I do hope do hope to do another episode of the review show because there's not actually been any sort of videos out for that yet. I'm actually going to be seeing Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, tomorrow, as of the as recording, it probably will be tomorrow when I see that. So. Because obviously I'll still be recorded this and then put it on Saturday on the Friday night stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to be seeing Jurassic World Dominion on Saturday. I'll probably give my review of that and see how it goes. I've heard that it's kind of... Uh, 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 it's not like the most... Uh, the most, the best sort of movie of all time. So yeah, that's it. This is a bit of a different episode as you can tell because it's talking about experiences in other countries and, and that type of thing so yeah uh, yeah yeah don't, um, don't forget to check us out on spotify 
if you want to hear more, if you want to see more, go to more more of James Ramble, and I've changed it to more more of James Ramble because it's better. It's just a bit better, and yeah, if you want to see the highlights, want to see the, the review show. The review show's doing well as well, so I'm glad about that. So yeah, I'm gonna start rambling. I'm gonna start rambling. So see you later. Enjoy the show for tonight. I hope you enjoy this show. It's gonna be an absolute amazing show. I actually. You're going to see something interesting, different countries, different countries, not just Scotland. So, yeah. Bonjour. Uh, adios. Um, good night. Liebelaken. Francais. Espagnole. 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 Uh, I went to Spain. I went to Spain. Now I'm gonna end this episode right. I dragged it out a little bit. I'm dragging. Espanol, espanol, baguette, get it, baguette, get it, baguette, get it, baguette, get it. Goodbye. Enjoy the absolute show, 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 show. <laughs>